Hey there, Dan here from Press This, and on today's episode of Press This Hands-On, and in celebration of WooCommerce 2.1 being released, we're actually going to go over how to install WooCommerce and add a basic product to your website using WooCommerce. Hope you enjoy it. Welcome to Press This Hands-On Look at how to install WooCommerce on your website. We're actually running this on our theme, Epic Pro. To add a new plugin, just like any other plugin, you're gonna to go to the Add New section, Upload, and you're gonna choose the WooCommerce file from your hard drive. Click Install and the plugin will install to your website. Now all you have to do is activate it. Once you activate it, it's gonna give you a message about that your theme isn't compatible. You can go ahead and ignore that. And the reason we're going to ignore that theme is WooCommerce has their own templates that they use that are literally designed just for WooCommerce, but our themes are clean enough that you can go ahead and use them. We can just hide this notice. The first thing we're gonna do is tweak some of our basic settings. And you're gonna notice some of the more obvious ones right here, like your country of origin, what type of currency you're going to use, coupons, checkout information, things like that. And you can go around, go ahead and play around and, to match your needs. You can change the styling, the colors of the basic buttons. And these are the buttons that are going to appear on the front end when people decide that they wanna buy your stuff or are searching for your products. This will make more sense in a moment when we preview some of these buttons. You can even choose if you have downloadable products, how you want to do that. Do you want to force the download? Always save your changes. You can choose from existing pages that you have where you'd like certain things to go. So if you want, if you've already created a cart page called cart and you want the WooCommerce cart to live there, you can certainly do that. Payment gateways are very simple. It comes with a few to begin with and you can add some with their extensions that are on their website. You can also order the, the order that you want people to have your payment gateways visible to them when they go to check out. So if you want PayPal to be the first option shown, you just drag it to the top like we did and check on it. It also makes it a, an available payment gateway by checking it. Once you've done that, you can actually go to each individual payment gateway and choose all the settings that you have here for that specific payment gateway. PayPal Sandbox is a really good choice. You do have to be a developer for it there, and that allows you to do test payments um, before you actually take your website live or take your payments live. It even integrates with Google Analytics and you can enter your ID right there. If you need more help with that, we inv invite you to check out our Embrace WP service at embracewp.com. Adding a product is really simple too. You just go to the products, add product section, name your product, enter a little short description about it, Scroll down a little bit to see all of your pricing information. If you want to make it a virtual or a downloadable product versus a physical or tangible product. And type your price in where we have our cursor. You can even add a short product description below that will display underneath the item and the item price when people are viewing it on your website. You're going to want a featured image for this product because you want it to look appealing. So you can actually click on the normal featured image page just like anything else. Just like any other post in WordPress. You can go ahead and upload a picture that you want to use. This is the image that will show up when people view on the front end your product. One other really cool tool to use is adding product categories to your products. So if you have a certain group of products, like for example, this is a widget and it's going to be in a greater product category of other widgets, you can name a product category widgets and add it right there from the add product page. That's going to come in handy in a second as we'll show you later. Make sure you publish that product when you're done to put it live to the site. And here we are. This is what's going to look like on our Epic Pro theme with the product, a short description of the product, the add to cart button, and the text and the colors that we chose earlier. Adding product categories is very, very easy. Use short codes provided on their website and we'll provide a resource in our article that we'll link here in the video. Just make sure that you remove the pre tag or just paste the short code in the text widget. And here's what that page looks like that's displaying just widget category, for example. As always, this install is brought to you by our Slocum themes found at slocumthemes.com. These themes are clean and designed to work with the WooCommerce plugin.
For more assistance installing WooCommerce on your website or for custom work, please contact us at embracewp.com slash contact. Thank you.